misophonia, how it affects me. So again, just one autistic viewpoint on these things. This is just my own personal um, experience of these things. This isn't something that all autistics have supposedly, although there are more studies being done on it. So I really struggle with um, anybody breathing loudly near me, anybody eating near me. Eating just makes me very, very angry. Um, whispering, I'd rather someone talk so I can actually try to more actively block it out than somebody whispering. Um, and various other things, but those are the sort of big three for me. I am investigating it more because obviously I didn't know it was a thing. I just thought it was me being weird. So I can get over the someone eating near me if I'm eating, because obviously then it blocks it out. Um, the whispering thing, I haven't found a way around it. I, as I said, I'd really prefer someone to be talking so I can actively leave. Um, so I've just been at a training course and people near me were whispering for the whole time. So I had to sit with my finger in my ear to actually be able to concentrate on what was being said. And the breathing thing, um, not even snoring, so night time if someone's breathing near me, that's a big no-no. So yeah, those are the things that affect me. I'm gonna do one on sort of sensory processing when it comes to touch and feeling and stuff as a separate one, so look out for that.